we can retrieve from this public folder okay let me show you how to retrieve them at first click on this shift on if you are using uh, visual studio code this will work for you just press shift on and tab okay crude here we will add the link of css and js okay link uh, remember we are retrieving from this public folder so that means we are already in the public folder just give a forward slash that means we are now in public folder and write css forward slash name of the file the name is semantic mean dot css copy and paste it here below that i will create one more file style dot css below this i will uh, li i will link to my style link forward slash css forward slash style css okay before the ending body tag just write script tag with attribute of source remember we are already in public folder just give a forward slash that means we are in public folder js forward slash this time it should be js okay this is the shortcut shortcut form how to use emit this is a pre uh, installed plugin for visual studio code this emit is very useful let me show you just write dot ui dot menu press tab once again container okay we are creating uh, one more thing if you don't want to write any of those html or css code you can just copy and paste them the link in the video description this ejs file is almost same as html but we can we can do some dynamically output in this ejs menu where it is this is the menu we are looking for uh which one is looking great i think this one is looking perfect okay just copy copy it and paste it we don't need to okay copy it and paste it Control s now go to home.js create one more create one more route router dot get because we are getting information that is why it is get request that means we are only showing the display by using get request if you use post request that uh, then you will submit something or you will post something that means you will add something okay don't worry, I'll show you in next. Okay. Quotation forward slash comma request response. You see in above, you can see that they are giving solution. This is the advantage of Visual Studio Code. This is this will be our callback function, and it is a array function. Render. This time we will render this uh, home.ejs file. Just write home.ejs. Uh, or what you can do. Uh, we already set the view engine to EJS, so we don't need to give any EJS extension here. 
ओके सेव इट कंट्रोल सी रन इट ऑन से गेन एंड रिलोड इट आफ्टर दिस मेनू जस्ट राइट यूआई डॉट कंटेनर टैब इट विल ऐड ए कंटेनर दोस अदर आइटम्स हेडर आइटम्स इन रिलोड द पेज इट इट इस कंटेन टू द मिडिल ऑफ द विंडो एंड ऐड सम ऐड सम मार्जिन margin on left and right let's add a background picture okay inside public folder i have created one more folder that is image and i have added a folder uh, added a image that is a image of football and i want i want to add this image to the background of my website just copy this refer class and paste it here dot refer Okay. Now just uh, width width will be hundred percent. Height will be a oh, hundred view height. Background. Image will be the image I have copied. URL IMG. Remember, we have set our static file to the public. That means we are already in this public folder. So from this public folder, we are accessing this image folder, and from there, just write football. Dot JPG. Background position will be center. Background size will be cover. Background repeat. There will be no repeat. Of our background, a dot link. This will be our link. So just write a dot link. Home link will be our home. Just give a forward slash. That means this URL goes to home. Save it. Once again, reload the page. Working totally fine. Let me change change the home dot ejs file from this uh, from this views directory. We have home dot ejs. Just change it. Uh, first one will be home log contact contact about. Okay, the menu is done. Now it's time to Create a input field. Just write dot ui dot container. Here we will create few input field before this ui container. We will add some line break. Just write br multiplied by three. Uh, I want three line break. If you want more, you can give it more. Okay. And inside the, this UI container, just uh, write like this UI dot three dot a f i e l d s fields. Okay, dot a f i e l d field tab. Inside this first field, we'll create a label. And uh, one more thing before the yeah, before this field, we want to we need to create a form. Just write form dot ui dot form. Just write like this. Action will be forward slash add. That's mean 
Oh, when we click on this form submit button, it will go to this URL. Okay, uh, I'll show that later on. Method will be post because we want to create something by using this form. Okay, just copy these three fields. Not a copy, just cut it and paste it inside this form. <clears throat> okay, now inside this first field, I'll create a level. Level dot ui dot level dot green. The first level will be name, name of the team. Let's make it club. This is more sensible. Enter the club name tab type. This is a text type. Name will be club and that's all let me refresh the page uh, before that just copy it and paste it below two more times save it make sure the uh, on the terminal or command form this server is running double click on this level class and replace it with header this three field has been done we need one more field so but after this three field we will create one more quick three fields just write ui dot to it this field is for button uh, input value is submit okay because we want to submit the form and save it to the database uh, to the server class class will be ui button green okay green fluid fluid we will create a table just write pr Two. We are on two line break. After the line break, we will create a table dot ui dot table. Before that ui, just write table that will be table tag uh, with the class of ui and table tab. Here it is t head inside t head t is first table head will be club name club name save it reload the page okay it's working perfectly let's let's make it green table green table now t t body T D. This one will be table row. Save it once again. Reload the page. 